All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 16 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 1 over 2x on both sides. So I get 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can use this property for both of these terms. 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to 16 to the power of x times 1 over 2x and x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 times 1 over 2x. Now, the x and x cancel out on my left-hand side because they multiply out, so I'm left with 16 to the power of 1 half on my left-hand side. And for my right-hand side, the 2's cancel out, so I'm left with x to the power of 1 over x. Now, my goal is to turn the left side to be in the form some number to the power of 1 over that number. So we can make that number our solution. Well, right now, this means that 16 and 2 have to turn into the same number. So we need to rearrange this so that 16 and 2 are the same number. So to do that, Sixteen is the same thing as four squared. So I'm going to rewrite it as four squared. So I have four squared to the power of one half is equal to x to the power of one over x. And now remember these two multiply. Two times one half is just one. So I'm left with four is equal to x to the power of one over x. Now four is the same thing as negative two squared. And two, our exponent here, I can rewrite as one over negative one half. And I have this times negative one. So I have one over negative one half times negative one. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this negative one, I'm gonna move to be an exponent of negative 2. So I get negative 2 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over negative 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And negative 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over negative 2. So my solution here is negative 1 half. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So these two cancel out to get 1. So now I have 9 over 25 to the power of x plus 15 over 25 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now 9 over 25 I can rewrite as 3 squared over 5 squared. And 15 over 25 is the same thing as 3 over 5. So 3 squared over 5 squared is the same thing as 3 over 5 squared. And now I have this to the power of x plus 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now I can actually swap the places of these. So I get 3 over 5 to the power of x to the power of 2 plus 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. From here, I'm going to let 3 over 5 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y squared plus y minus 1 equals 0. And if I use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, I get y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. all over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4, which is 5, over 2, meaning 
I have 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And the reason why negative 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 doesn't work is because that's negative, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So from here, if I take the log on both sides, I get log 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So I get x is equal to log of negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log of 3 over 5. So this is my solution.